Egyptian Cuisine by Shea Carrier. Today, we'll explore how geography, history, culture, and globalization have shaped Egypt's cuisine and discuss its flavors, aesthetics, and adaptations in the United States. Egyptian cuisine is shaped by the Nile's fertile land, trade history, and diverse cultural influences. The use of grains, spices, and regional preferences define its character. Islamic dietary preferences, regional variations, and socioeconomic factors also contribute to its unique flavors and dishes, reflecting Egypt's rich history and culture. Local ecological conditions in Egypt, including the fertile Nile River Valley, a Mediterranean climate, and reliable water supply, determine the cultivation of crops like wheat, rice, beans, and vegetables. These conditions shape the agricultural landscape, influencing the ingredients and dishes in Egypt's cuisine. The cultures that originally lived in Egypt, including the ancient Egyptians, were known for their advanced civilization with a rich history in art, architecture, and religion. They developed hieroglyphic writing, monumental structures like pyramids and complex belief systems centered around pharaohs and gods. Agriculture along the Nile River was fundamental to their livelihood. Ancient Egyptian cuisine featured staples like bread, beer, and vegetables with limited meat consumption. Social structures was hierarchical, with pharaohs at the top, followed by nobles, priests, and laborers. Hieroglyphics reveal glimpses of daily life, where the elite had more varied diets, including meats, while common people's meals were simpler. Different cultures and religions have influenced Egyptian cuisine through centuries of migration, conquest, and trade. Greek, Roman, Arab, and Ottoman influences introduced new spices, new cooking techniques, and ingredients. Islam shaped dietary preferences, emphasizing halal, when Mediterranean and Middle Eastern culinary traditions blended to create the diverse and unique cuisine of Egypt. Historical processes and power relations have significantly shaped Egyptian cuisine. Conquests by empires like the Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and Ottomans brought new culinary influences and ingredients. Trade routes connected Egypt to diverse food traditions. Socioeconomic disparities influenced the accessibility of certain dishes. The result is a rich and diverse cuisine that embodies the intricate history and cultural interactions in Egypt. Core foods in Egyptian cuisine include bread, beans, rice, and vegetables like okra and eggplant. Supplementary foods often consist of lamb, chicken, and fish. Spices like cumin, coriander, and cardamom are commonly used as well. Aromatic herbs such as mint and parsley enhance flavors. Desserts such as baklava and dates are popular treats as well. Typical Egyptian dishes including full metamiz, kushari, masi, and Egyptian mohia exemplify place and space through the use of local ingredients like fava beans, rice, and mohia leaves. These ingredients thrive in Egypt's fertile Nile Valley and demonstrate the country's culinary diversity influenced by its geographical location and historical interactions. Typical flavors in Egyptian cuisine include earthy and savory notes from ingredients like cumin, coriander, and garlic. Dishes often have a mild heat from chili peppers and black pepper. Fresh herbs like mint, parsley, add brightness while lemon and vinegar provide a nice acidity. The cuisine strikes a balance between aromatic spices and fresh, vibrant flavors. Aesthetic characteristics valued in Egyptian cuisine include visual appeal, balance in flavors, and the use of fresh ingredients. Traditional dishes are often presented with an aesthetic balance of colors and textures. 
Neoliberal globalization has led to the availability of processed, fast food options, altering the dietary preferences. The nutrition transition, driven by globalization, has led to the increased consumption of processed foods, high in sugar, unhealthy fats, and additives. Traditional dishes' emphasis on fresh, locally sourced ingredients is challenged by the convenience and affordability of fast food, impacting the aesthetics of healthy, traditional meals in Egyptian culture. All right, guys, I'm here in Abu Ras in Patterson. I'm here with Saif, and Saif is going to break down some of these authentic dishes for us. So, Saif, what are we looking at? Um, so, a little bit. First of all, it's our pleasure to have you over here, John. We're starting with malakhiya. It's called malakhiya. This is a soup. It's made out of herb. So, this, this doesn't have any name in English of it. So that's how people call it. You can call it malakhiya or malakhiya. Malakhiya is the same. It's some herb that gets chopped and cooked with some onion and some spices on it and served as a soup. There's some people make it the herb by itself, but we, just, we prefer to do it this way. And it's served with chicken and the other rice. Of course, you have to squeeze the lemon on top of it. It gives you very good taste. Wow, okay. okay. Over here, you have what's called hummus. Pretty much almost everyone knows what hummus is, but it's made of basically chickpeas and tahini. Um, and it's topped with parsley, chickpeas, some mac, and the green sauce and olive oil. The green sauce is made of pepper, garlic, and lemon juice. Very cool, okay. Those are like some of our basics food every day. This is one of our basic like breakfasts for every day, and it's very common in our, our countries. And of course, our pita bread, it's all made from basics, and it's all fresh meat. Thanks so much, man. Absolutely. I'm looking Thank you so much. Uh, we're glad to have you over here, and please, have a seat and enjoy it. I will, thanks so much. Thanks. Alright guys, I just sat down at Abu Ras. Saif just broke down all these dishes for us, and now it's time to try them. So we're gonna get started with our authentic Egyptian hummus. Let's go in for a bite. See the olive oil? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. See the olive oil? And get some parsley on there as well. Whoa. That's amazing. I can see why they eat that every day for breakfast. Next, guys, we're gonna move on to this authentic Egyptian dish called mokhia. It's made of herbs and it's uh, some sort of soup. And I'm so excited to try this. Wow. That is rich. How's everything over here? Really good, really good. Thank you, Sam. Guys, I'm in love with this. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to eat this chicken and rice platter that came with my mojito. But first, just like Saif told me, I gotta get this nice and juicy. Now it's ready. Alright. Let's give this a try guys. Wow, that's amazing. I'm really happy uh, with the food that I got. It tastes uh, very authentic. There is clear evidence of acculturation of Egyptian cuisine in the United States. As a result of immigration, Egyptian Americans have introduced traditional dishes like kebabs, falafel, and shawarma to the American culinary landscape. Additionally, Restaurants serving Egyptian and Middle Eastern cuisine have proliferated, adapting to local tastes by incorporating fusion elements. This culinary acculturation has contributed to the popularity of Mediterranean food in the United States, making dishes like hummus and baba ganoush household favorites.